The Archbishop of Philadelphia is a Capuchin Franciscan and also a Native American, a member of the Potawatomi tribe. His name is Archbishop Charles Chaput. And so, when the first North American Native person, Kateri Tekawitha, whom we honor today, was canonized in 2012, he was excited, as was I. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and for over nine years I worked among Native Americans in South Dakota, where Archbishop Chaput served for a time. I'd like to share with you part of a homily he gave shortly after Kateri was canonized. Kateri was born nine years after the martyrdom of Saints Isaac Jogues and Jean de Brebeuf. Born around 1656 into the Mohawk tribe in what is now upstate New York, she lost her parents and brother to smallpox as a young child. She was raised by relatives after she survived the disease, though it damaged her eyesight and left her permanently scarred. She declined to marry despite natural pressure from her family, and through contacts with French Jesuit missionaries, she developed a love for Jesus. Despite strong resistance from her tribe and extended family, she was baptized in 1679, moved to a Christian community of Indians, where she studied the catechism and helped minister to the poor and aged. The zeal of her young faith had a profound impact on the Jesuits who oversaw her conversion, and stories of her miracles began within months of her premature death in 1680 at the age of 24. She understood the cost of being an outcast from personal experience, and she overcame the pain of exile and misunderstanding by an unrelenting commitment to unselfish love. St. Kateri Takawitha, Lily of the Mohawks, pray for us.